Hey guys, I am now at the Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, inside a restaurant called Beijing Noodle Number no. 9. All right, let's talk bad about Gibson. Okay, so there's been a few comments in my other videos. Something about, oh, you know, I'm so sorry, Gibson stole your girlfriend. Now, uh, I, I know, you know, what they're saying, you know. It's like, why am I, like, hating Gibson so much, right? Now, if someone steals your girlfriend, basically, you feel a loss of love in your heart, right? That's what Gibson did to me. Yes, that's right, guys. You're like, what? How did Gibson steal the love in your heart? I'll tell you how, right? So, before I looked into Gibson, I only heard about Gibson, right? All I knew was they make a Les Paul-shaped guitar, much like all these other companies, and then their price is extremely high. So, for the longest time, I didn't really look into the Gibson, the guitar, or, or anything like that. I just knew in my heart that the Gibson version of the Les Paul is like the top level thing you can get in the Les Paul shaped guitars, right? Because they made it back in then, it's their design, you know, it's their name, you know, everything, you know, really expensive stuff. I was actually quite uh hi how you doing oh hi we, 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 we watch you almost every night oh yeah in california so oh welcome nice meeting you have a good one okay oh uh, yes thank you all right thank you okay All right, so the food's here, guys. I'll finish talking bad about Gibson later. Okay. Well, anyway, so uh, sorry for the interruption, right? Uh, some viewers came and then the food came. Still now today, it's the very next day and I'm across the street at the Flamingo. Okay, now I was talking about how Gibson stole the love from my heart. You're like, oh, how's that possible? All right, it's just that, you know, Gibson made the prices extremely high, you know, for, you know, for, for what it is, right? A Les Paul style guitar. And I enjoy Les Paul style, Les Paul style guitars. And, and then I said, I, I, you know, for a long time, I'd be like, one day, you know, I'm going I'm to buy a Gibson because evidently, due to like the marketing and positioning of such products, I believe that that was the, you know, the top level of Les Paul style guitars. To buy an actual Les Paul from Gibson themselves, right? It makes sense, you know? So, damn. For the longest time, you know, I had you know, the, the feeling of anticipation, the happiness, you know, oh, one day I'm gonna buy Gibson, one day I'm gonna buy Gibson, you know? And then, oh, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun, I'm gonna buy Gibson, yay. But, you know, then come time for me to like, like okay, you know what? I'm gonna buy a Gibson, you know? Like after like a long time of anticipation, you know? I found out it's a Quokka Baloney. Can you believe that? Inferior finish, poor quality construction, you know, like the, the, the design aspect and everything. And it's, like, and it's just pieces of wood with metal bits sprinkled on it. I was like, dude, how is that $2,800? Then I find out that it's being sold for cheaper in Germany and I said, why, why would you send it further away and sell it for cheaper? You know, it was just a whole bunch of stuff. You know, it, it broke my heart. I was like, for, after such a long time of anticipation, you know, and then I was just totally let down. You know, it let me down. I expected, you know, $2,800 worth of Les Paul style guitar. You know, you can buy Les, ooh, do you have a kind? You can buy Les Paul style guitar for a hundred bucks and it works guys, it works, it works fine. You know, you can spend 200, 300, 400, 1000, 
you can spend more than 2800 evidently with like some custom stuff and you know then you know a lot of commenters mentioned the eastman you know a lot of less Paul style guitars out there but you know the actual one that says Les Paul from Gibson you know the people who originally made it back in the day nowadays is a different story you know nowadays it's just a you know faceless corporation that you know like picked up the you know they purchased the name Gibson and now they're making legal versions of the Les Paul style guitars right they prefer to use the word authentic but I prefer to use the word legal because there's nothing authentic about it guys you know, like I said in another video, factories closed, people are dead, you know, it's over. You know, the real Les Pauls are done and gone for, you know, no more, they're gone. Right now, it's all the copies being made by machines. Whether it's like, you know, any manufacturer who makes a uh, Les Paul style guitar, is making a Les Paul, style, Les Paul style guitar, including Epiphone and Gibson. They're making Les Paul style guitars with their legal, you know, of actually legal, you know what I mean, right? Other ones, they can't put Les Paul on it, but Gibson and Epiphone legally can, right? But legal does not mean authentic. Anyway, that's enough, you know, rambling on for now. Oh, pair of queens, guys, pair of queens. So, yep, that's, that's how Gibson stole my girlfriend, broke my heart. Hmm, pair of fives. Ah.